word of God says that the kingdom of God suffered in violence. And it is only the violent that shall take it by force. Born as he feel. So what that means is that peace cannot come without war. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm talking, I'm talking about that contextually. I mean in the context of spiritual warfare. Praise God. It means that you cannot have rest. You cannot enjoy rest if you have not fought. Praise the name of Jesus. It is the same way you cannot um, claim rest if you have not worked. Praise the name of Jesus. You have to work for you to rest. Hallelujah. God worked before he rested. So before the seventh day comes, there has to be a day one, there has to be a day two, there has to be a day three up to day six. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And those days represent work. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So before you experience rest in your heart, rest in your mind, rest in your health, rest in your finances, there are some battles that you need to fight. Praise God. There are some enemies that need to die. Praise God. For you to enjoy the grace of God. The peace of God. I'm talking about the peace of God that dwells within the life of a child of God. Within the heart of a child of God. Praise God. So, I want us to go before the Lord. You know those things that bring unrest into your life. Praise the name of Jesus. Those things that bring unrest. Now we thank God because the other Sunday it was about anxieties. Praise the name of Jesus. There is so much going on around the world. There are so many reasons. There are actually a thousand reasons to be worried. Praise the name of Jesus. If you look at the news, you have more bad news than good news. Praise the name of Jesus. If you may look around your life, you see hopelessness more than hope. Praise the name of Jesus. But the Bible has given us assurance that we have overcome the world. Praise the name of Jesus. Because as he is, so are we in this world. If he overcame, then we also overcame with him. But that overcoming has to be exercised. Praise the name of Jesus. It has to be effected. Hallelujah. I believe we had, there is a teaching that um, we received that it has to be appropriated. I believe that was the correct word. It has to be appropriated. Hallelujah. Amen. So, God has released the power. He has given us weapons. He has given us the blood. He has given us the Holy Spirit. He has given us His word. He has given us His promise. Now, all these things are designed for our fighting. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Prophecies come so that you fight. Praise the name of Jesus. How many of us believe that? Prophecies come so that you fight. You are given a prophetic word so that you can fight a good fight of faith. Praise the name of Jesus. So after you fought, then you enjoy the rest that God has prepared for you. Now that is what I want us to do. You know that specific thing that brings unrest. That specific enemy that tries to steal your peace. Praise the name of Jesus. That is what I'm driving at. That thing that tries to hinder your peace. That thing that tries to steal your peace, the peace of the people of God. Now, Jesus Christ gave a parable. He gave us an illustration of someone going outside to sow. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says that some seeds went on fertile ground. Some went on thorny ground. Now, those are the anxieties, the thorns. Those are the anxieties that are designed to choke the word of God. Because the word of God is the investment of God upon our hearts so that we, so that it can be an agency of peace. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. That is why the Bible says, in me you will find peace. Praise the name of Jesus. In Christ we find peace. In the word we find, we find peace. In the promises of God we find peace. In the confidence of the power of God we find peace. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Through the work of the Holy Spirit, we experience and we realize that peace in our lives. Praise the name of Jesus. So, in that understanding, so we are going to go before the Lord. Those specific things, you can pinpoint them. Those specific things that bring unrest. The Bible says they are enemies. That is the agent. That is how the enemy works to steal the peace of the children of God. Now, someone may ask, why do you need peace? Peace is that kingdom. Praise the name of Jesus. 
It is God's reign within the heart of a child of God. So when you have that peace, God reigns within you. Praise the name of Jesus. Now that peace should be so abundant and it has to overflow. Praise God. So that others can realize it. Because if it doesn't overflow, then others will not realize the kingdom of God working within you. Because that was the essence of the message of Jesus Christ. That the kingdom of God is at hand. Praise the name of Jesus. It is there for us to exercise. It is there for us to exercise. But now John gives us another um, understanding of how to access this kingdom. He says that it is suffering violence and it is only the violent that take it by force. Praise God. Amen. So we are going to go before the Lord. Touching on those specific things that bring unrest to your life, to your mind, to your heart. Maybe it is your family. Maybe it is your child. Maybe it is your spouse. Maybe it is because of your financial situation. Maybe it is because of something that is troubling your heart. Maybe someone hurt you deeply. All those things are designed to steal the peace of a child of God. So you don't walk in that kingdom. Praise the name of Jesus. The kingdom is God's reign in the heart of a child of God. That is where the king is. The kingdom is the domain of a king. Praise the name of Jesus. It is the territory where a king rules. And Christ needs to rule in our hearts. Praise God. It starts from our hearts and then it overflows so that others can realize that peace. Praise God. Amen. So we're going to open our mouths wide. We're going to go before the Lord. As we are thanking, then I believe that is how we access the battlegrounds through the presence of our Father. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. How do we do this? We go, we seek the Lord. The Bible says, come unto his gates with thanksgiving and unto his courts with praise. It is in the courts of God that we can fight effectively. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. We don't go on our own strength. Praise God. It is when we access the presence of God, it is from the presence of God that we go to the battlefield. Praise the name of Jesus. So that is the criteria that I want us to go. I want us to go unto the courts of God with thanksgiving and then to his courts with praise. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we are going to deal with those enemies of our peace, those enemies of our joy, those things that hinder the presence, the kingdom of God from being realized within our hearts. So we are going to thank the Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless and honor you. You're the Lord who always speaks to us. You're the Lord who always gives us grace. Oh, Father, we thank you. Because you once says we should come to your gates. We should come to your gates with thanksgiving. Daddy, we thank you because you're the living God. We thank you because you're our Father. We thank you of the Lord Jesus. We thank you because of the gift of the presence. We thank you because you have given us power. We thank you because you have given us wisdom. We thank you because of the blood. We thank you because of the weapon of angelic ministry. We thank you for the weapon of the word of God. We thank you for the weapon of our faith. O Ratayas Kataliko, Lagos Katalia Malaki. O Jehovah, my Father, we come in the power of the Holy Spirit, not in our own strength. Even as we thank you, it is your will that we walk in peace. It is your will that we live in peace. It is your will that your peace reigns in our hearts and in our minds. Lord, it is your will that we walk in that peace, that we realize that peace in our lives. It is your will, O Holy Father. That is why we come in that boldness, in that confidence, dear my God, that we are praying your will today. In the name of Jesus Christ, say Katali Barus. Lepro Yakatali Barus. Lead the Yakataya. Mele Katoria Bas. Ori Mankon Tanamika Paras. Lika Donaya Uta Damas. Ora Manto Yamakatoma. Ora Basi Katanamika. Tell you what says, come, even unto his courts, with praise, Lika Torah, Bisata. Tell you, we praise you. You are the one who sits on the throne on high. You are the one who fights our battle. Oh, mighty Father, your words say, arise, and let all your enemies be scattered. The enemies of our peace, the enemies of our joy. Oh, mighty Father, you 
are the same God who took his children, who took his soul, even in the book of Isaiah, that in your word says, you took on your shield, Lord, you arose, you stood up, O Kataya, because of your children. Almighty Father, we come in the confidence of the finished work of the Lord Jesus, that you have given us authority, you have given us power over every enemy of our peace. Every power that troubles our lives, every power that is untroubling, given by God that is untroubling our lives.
comfort. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, we come against that power. In the name of Jesus Christ, we destroy that power. We scatter that power. In the name of Jesus, say, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we come against every power that is hindering our spiritual progress. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, we destroy your source of power. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we arrest you now by the power of the name of Jesus. We arrest you now by the power of the name of the Lord Jesus. We bind you now in the name of the Lord Jesus and we command in the name of Jesus every dark power that is haunting our peace, that is fighting our peace, that is trying to destroy the peace of God in our lives.
glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you.
that we must acknowledge that it is not by our power, it is not by might, but by your Holy Spirit. Be lifted on high, Holy Father. Be blessed forever, Father. Be lifted on high, Jehovah God. Father, we pray that you move with us. We pray that you walk with us. Let us raise up our hands before the presence of the Lord. Just raise up your hands and bless Him. The Word of God says, I will bless the Lord all my soul, and I will forget not all His benefits. So as you raise up your hands, bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord all my soul. 